Bruno, an eight-year-old German boy living in Berlin, is uprooted to rural-occupied Poland with his family after his father Ralph, an SS officer, is promoted. Bruno notices a concentration camp near the back garden from his bedroom window, but believes it to be a farm, his mother Elsa forbids him from going in the back garden. This combined with Gretel's crush on Lieutenant Kurt Kodler, a young colleague of her father's, makes Gretel fanatical in her support for the Nazi agenda. Bruno struggles to adjust to the rhetoric in the teaching after Pavel, a doctor turned family slave, comes to Bruno's aid after he sustains a minor injury. Bruno sneaks into the woods, arriving at a barbed wire fence surrounding the camp. He befriends Shmuel, another eight-year-old boy. Both boys are completely unaware of the true insidiously horrific nature of the camp, Bruno believes the striped uniforms that Shmuel, Pavel, and the other prisoners wear are pajamas, while Shmuel believes he is only there temporarily and that his grandparents died from an illness on the journey to the camp. Elsa inadvertently discovers from Kurt that the smell from the camp is in fact burning prisoners, she angrily confronts her husband. Later that night, Kurt reveals his father left Germany for Switzerland to avoid national service and is berated by Ralph, embarrassed, Kurt viciously beats Pavel for spilling a glass of wine. After seeing him eating, Shmuel informs Kurt that Bruno offered the cake, which Bruno fearfully denies. Bruno tries to apologize to Shmuel later, but he doesn't reappear at the fence for several days. Ralph informs his family that Kurt was transferred to the Eastern Front, angered, Elsa reveals the reason for his transfer was because Kurt did not initially alert the authorities about his father. Bruno continues returning to the fence and eventually, Shmuel reappears, but with visible injuries. Bruno apologizes and Shmuel forgives him. In raid. At the funeral, Elsa tries to remove a wreath from the Fuhrer out of respect for Natalie and her beliefs, but Ralph stops her, causing them to fall out after the service. Back home, Elsa informs Ralph she doesn't want the children living in the vicinity of the camp. In turn, Ralph then tells Bruno and Gretel their mother is taking them to live with extended family until the war is over. Bruno visits Shmuel before he leaves, and learns Shmuel's father has disappeared after being transferred to a different work gang, Bruno decides to help Shmuel find him. Shmuel provides Bruno with a prisoner's striped outfit and a cap to cover his unshaven head, and Bruno digs under the fence to join Shmuel, but the boys are suddenly rounded up by the guards. Gretel and Elsa learn of Bruno's disappearance, and burst into Ralph's meeting to alert him. A search is launched and a dog tracks Bruno sent to his discarded clothing. Ralph enters the camp as the prisoners are sent to a gas chamber, where pesticide pellets are poured from a hole in the ceiling, filling the chamber with toxic gas. Bruno dies in the chamber along with Shmuel, leaving Ralph, Elsa, and Gretel destroyed.